Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're going to be replacing the fuel water separator and fuel filter on this John Deere 3038E. So stay tuned. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is turn the fuel off which is located right down here by the, uh, by the forward and reverse pedals. Just want to turn this little valve to the off position. All right, so once you got your fuel off, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is grab a bucket and we're gonna to wanna to drain the fuel that's in this bulb here. And just let that drain out, that's gonna take a little while. This tractor has about 400 hours on it and you can see the uh, the sediment here in the window. Um, so we're going to get that unscrewed here so that we can pull out the filter. All right, next the filter should just drop right out. And again, this tractor has about 430 hours on it. See the build up there. All right, so the correct filter to go to your, uh, your John Deere 3038E. This filter is just going to push right back into its original location. Make sure it seats. All right, so I went ahead and put back in our uh, our drain valve there and our, our filter holder here. And we're just going to screw this glass bolt or this uh, plexiglass bolt right back in place. The second fuel filter is located just below this uh, 3038E badging. It's right there. So in order to get to that, I'm gonna have to remove this side panel here. So first you're gonna take off the bolt here. Move it from right here. For the front fender, you're gonna have to undo this uh, bolt right here and there is a nut behind it too so you're going to need to get a, a wrench for the back side all right so once you have that 10 millimeter uh, nut and bolt undone and you undo the pin over here on the left the fender just slides right off and exposes your uh, fuel filter right here Now John Deere does recommend that you replace the fuel filter every 200 hours. Um, of course on uh, this particular tractor it's going on 430 hours, but uh, better late than never. And part number for this fuel filter is MIU803127. And we're going to do this fuel filter just as you would an automotive oil filter so I'm going to grab my my filter wrench and of course make sure you got a bucket close by to capture the fuel Of 
course, my bucket's not catching anything. Yeah, someone put this one on way too tight. You can see where I uh, dented the filter trying to get it off. All right, so we're gonna get the new one and put it back on just the same way it came off. So a couple of quick tips here. So you wanna apply some fuel to the surface of this gasket before you put it back on. Next up, while you got the side of the uh, the fender off here go ahead and inspect your belt while you're at it uh, as you can see uh, from my the belt I got here I've actually got a tree branch of some sort uh, lodged up against beside the belt so just do uh, some belt inspections and uh, take a look over everything while you got this off and next up um, after I remove that tree branch from the uh, from the belt there I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fuel back on and we're gonna go ahead and start it up and with the fender off, we just want to make sure we don't have any leaks to report back. <laughs> 